So the book is up there, mate, The Pursuit of Radical Self-Care. The book is the culmination of a lot of the work I did during COVID lockdowns, etc. So we talk about self-care. It gets bandied around a lot, but it's more than sleep, diet and exercise. I think, you know, from a radical, wide-ranging, from-the-ground-up sort of approach, we have to look at uh, self-compassion, self-awareness, as well as self-care. And, and I think that's what, when I say up yours, it's upping your self-care in every domain. Um, and don't just look at sort of increasing your exercise or cutting down on, you know, food or whatever it is. You're just giving us a bit of a guide from it. But the book flows into real three, three very simple, when I say simple, probably not as easy to execute, but three simple frameworks. Can you share what those frameworks are? I'm going to put an image up on screen right now and you can talk sure. through them. But Yeah, look, so, so basically, as I say, sleep, diet and extra exercise, although... It, uh, they are really important. Basically, if the engine's not running, we're, you know, we're not going to be going anywhere. So, so things like sleep, diet, exercise, and mindset, etc., are really, really important. But they're not the be all and end all. And very often, people lock on to one or two things that they want to change, and that might be a good start. But we need to look from a much broader perspective as to how we're looking after ourselves. So, I kind of broke it down into three main areas. So, I uh, say, look up is kind of stop, smell the roses, see how you're actually treating and dealing with yourself. And, and you can make some adjustments there. And it's not about giving up something. It can be adding something in, um, you know, into our, our sort of well-being, if you like. When I talk about looking in, I'm talking about taking a real deep introspective sort of journey. Uh, and, and I'm talking, uh, I, I can't remember who, who originally said this, but, but basically the premise is that everything we need to thrive we have within us. It's yeah. already, self, we're, you know, we're a complete self-contained uh, sort of unit. And that's true until it's not. Sometimes we need a little bit of guidance, you know, um, and support from externally. But but when we're looking in and just doing a sort of a, a stock take of ourselves, if you like, or an audit of ourselves, there's a whole host of things we can look at. Um, Dan Siegel, uh, Dr. Dan Siegel talks about the healthy mind platter. And, and I took that idea and expanded on it uh, a bit more on some other areas that we can sort of look at. And so in that sort of part of the book or in any of the programs and training I do, we look at brain health because for yeah. so long we've looked at the brain as being like a computer that shuts down at nighttime and, and has a rest. And, and that always kind of seemed odd that, you know, it's very inefficient if you have to shut a machine down for eight hours out of every 24. Mm, so there's, there had to be something else going on. And there is. There's an all, a huge host of stuff that's happening in our brains all the time. So we have a look at that and we have a look at how we can, the things we can do to sort of support brain health. Because it's an organ just like every other organ in the body. Yep. And, and we need to treat a little better. When I say looking out, it's then how do we in this sort of self-contained unit sort of connect and interrelate and, and, and sort of become involved in our, our sort of environment. So in other words, we look at relationships and things like belonging and connection, which are survival traits, survival instincts that we absolutely have to have. Boundaries play a huge part on that. And I, and, and I, I find myself speaking about boundaries a lot. And we can tap into that a bit more if you want in a minute. Yeah, but I do. Basically, boundaries are essentially where I end and the rest of the world begins. And does that feel safe where I'm at? And and then probably um, the other aspect of uh, looking out is is, is uh, the concept of play. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we've had a conversation about this before, what that actually means. So we can tap into that too. Because, spoiler alert, it's the first thing to go when we're feeling overwhelmed or burnt out. We talk about things like emotional intelligence and, and, and empathy. We talk about resilience and what that means. And it's more than just the company trying to squeeze more out of us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's very much a self-care practice. We talk about, uh, we talk about uh, other issues like how to work smarter, not harder. You know, as yeah. I said, boundaries is an important one. Um, so so it's, it's around pulling what we want from, you know, from the book that will sort of resonate for ourselves.